Vista is an online graphic design tool with a massive library of fully customizable graphic design templates and an intuitive drag and drop editor that you can use to create professional graphic design. It is an online graphic design tool that allows anyone to quickly create content for social media, blogs, marketing, advertising, and much more without professional design skills. This platform gives you access to millions of stock photos, vectors, and videos for customizing your designs and the tool allows you to add music or full high definition videos to your clips. In this video, I'll be taking you through a tour of the whole platform, showing you how easy it is to create stunning graphic design on Vista. We would also create a YouTube thumbnail for a particular video. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so to get started on this amazing platform, all you need to do is to click on the sign up link in the description of this video. It's going to bring you to this sign up page. Go to the far right button and then click on this sign up button to create an account. So once you click on the sign up button, it's going to bring you to this account sign up page and then click on create an account. It's going to give you options which are to sign up with your Google account, to sign up with your Facebook, or to sign up with Apple account. Or alternatively, you can use the last option, which is to use your direct email address where you get to fill in your first name, your last name, your email address, and then you choose a password. I'll prefer to connect it with my Google account. So I'm going to click the first option. And once I click the first option, it's going to connect directly with my Google account. And that is just it. So this is the back end of my account. I have a new account created and it gives me 10 gigabytes of story to upload my file. This is actually amazing. So we have the template section. This shows you the templates to the various formats of graphic design that you can create on Vista. So you have various templates that are available here. You have the creative assets, which are the brand stock videos and vectors and photos that you can use in your design creation. You have a tutorial section where you get to learn about how to use this particular platform, the various pro features, the various Vista features, the design tips, as well as the Vista format that you can use. You have the brand kit section. Under the brand kit section, you can basically upload your logos as well as your color and fonts on this particular project. And then you have the my project section where all your designs is going to show up. In order to start creating, I have various options of what I can create. I can definitely start from scratch by selecting a custom size, depending on whatever kind of graphic design that you want to create. Or you could definitely go to the search bar and then type in whatever you want to create. I want to create a YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. So I will just click on this thumbnail section, which is going to open my workbench. On the left side of my workbench, I have the upload section. At the upload section, every design that I want to use, I can upload them to this workbench from this side. I have various photos that I can add in my selection. I can add videos in my selection as well as music. I can also add objects. I can also remove the background or I can add another background. I can add text and styles I have. In order to start on this platform, I'm going to go to templates. So I'm going to choose a particularly preferred template. So I'll choose this one. And once I click on it, it's going to be available on my black canvas. So once it's available on my black canvas, I can do a lot of manipulation. Number one, I'll start from the background. Okay, so once you click on the outside portion of the background, there are various options that are going to pop up, which you are going to be able to edit in order to fully customize this particular platform. So I have the colors, I have the blue and the white color, which are typical of my background right here. So I can change any of these colors. I think I'm cool with this color. I will now start editing my text, which are available. Let me change this text. All right, in order to format this text, I'm just going to highlight it. Oh, I have the headline, it's to be a tutorial to the So I'm I'm going to spread it out in order to make it a whole now. I can decide to reduce the font size here. As you click on the option to be edited, then you have various other options, editing options that are going to pop up just as it has done here. So I can edit this. Some of the options that I can change include the font type, the font size, then the font color and a host of other things. I can animate the fonts. I can change the position and the alignment also. So I'm going to highlight my text. Once I highlight my text, I'm going to change this text type font type rather. I'm going to change my font type. Okay, once I change my font type like this, I'm now going to change a few other things. So I can start to change the font color also. So I, I'll, once I highlight like this, then I'll come to this section and then it's going to take me to the color palette where I will change the color of my font. So, all right, so I have this. I can also change this text section. Once I highlight on it, any, any text you want to change, just highlight on it or you can typically delete it and then write whatever you want to write. Okay, so it says create stunning graphic designs. In it. I can edit my image likewise. I don't want to use this image, so I'm going to delete it. Once I delete this image, I'm going to move my text 
into this area I can design to change the alignment of the text by making it the straight fashion and if I probably want I can spread this text out but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to return to what it is right now and then I want this also remove this text to this place and then I want to go to my uploads section and once in my upload section I want to scroll down and I want to choose this image good all right so I want to put this image on this side all right this makes more volume of my thumbnail one so there are two basic things that your youtube thumbnail should do it should increase your click through rate and then it should compel people directly to your video because there are going to be a bunch of competition once your video or once your thumbnail shows up on the youtube search result okay so i can edit my image likewise so once i click on my image i'm going to go to edit image the option is going to appear so i have a host of options which I can choose from. I can decide to make it a grayscale, or if I don't want to make it a grayscale, then I can use another pattern. Okay, you can take all the time to fully customize your YouTube thumbnail. You can animate all of these designs. You can add background and a host of other things depending on the use case of your video. So once you are done like this, you will just come to this export section and then you have the option to either download it as a JPEG, as a PNG, as a PDF, or as a GIF. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to download my PNG file. Alright, so it says my YouTube thumbnail is ready and then I'm going to play it right now. This is my YouTube thumbnail. So we can see that this is good enough. It is 1280 by 720 pixels and this can be used on any YouTube video. Typical thumbnail is supposed to be catchy, irresistible and appeal to the emotions of the viewer on the particular subject area. Ensure your thumbnail is straight to the point and that the video delivers what it says it will. You can also install the Vista Create app either from your Apple Store or from your Google Play Store directly to your device and it makes graphic design easy, fast and available on the go. Thanks for watching to this point. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting content and I'll see you in the next video.